on air, online, and on your smart speaker. Get that feeling. On the Limestone Coast, this is SAFM. SAFM News Briefing. Good morning, I'm James Royce with a news briefing. What a million bucks? Well, it's as easy as getting jabbed thanks to philanthropists and corporate groups who've joined forces for the Million Dollar Vax Alliance. All up, more than $4 million in cash and prizes will be given away. Alliance Chairman Craig Winkler says entering's a piece of cake. Any time during October, if you're getting vaccinated, just go to milliondollarvax.com, enter your details, name and phone number and so on. Then there's daily draws where there's 100 daily prizes of a $1,000 ultimate gift card. And then uh, you're also in the draw for the million dollar prize at the end of October. Victoria has recorded a slight dip in its COVID numbers. 1,220 cases were recorded in the past 24 hours and three deaths. This obviously lower than Saturday's record high, 1,488 infections. Experts say there is little chance tonight's NRL grand final will need to be moved from Brisbane as we wait for Queensland's latest numbers to come out. Both of yesterday's two cases were linked to an outbreak at an aviation training centre. Infectious diseases expert Dr Paul Griffin has told the ABC unless things change, it'll be safe for the game to proceed. Of course, there's some mitigating strategies in place to, to make that risk less. We're going to have people wearing masks. The capacity has been slightly reduced. And of course, we've been encouraging people to get tested. So hopefully we're not going to miss any cases. So I think all of that together does make it safe to go ahead. And a reminder that daylight saving has begun in the southeastern state with clocks winding forward by one hour. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. Dockers Rockman Sean Darcy's become the youngest player to take out Frio's best and fairest award. The 23-year-old has polled eight votes clear of runner-up David Mundy and says he's come a long way since moving from country Victoria. It's been a great ride so far and probably a premiership would, is the goal at the moment. So we're all working on our way to be there and we won't stop till we get there. And our Aussie women need another 84 runs with six wickets in hand to avoid the follow-on heading into day four of their test against India. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Showers for Mount Gambia today with a max of 17 degrees. We're dropping to 7 tonight, then a wet, cold Monday. On the way, a max of 13 with windy conditions and rain tomorrow. Early shower or two for us on Tuesday. For radio, podcast, music and news, download the free listener app.